another banger. I'm excited to be here all with y'all today. It is a beautiful day today. Today will be a video like no other. I gotta really yell in this car, guys. Bear with me. Anyways, I bought a new toy. And first off, I wanna start by saying that I haven't bought a new toy since 2017, which was this bad girl right here. So I haven't necessarily bought another car since 2017 and it's 2021 right now. The fact that I've held restraint that long is a pretty big deal because back to back years before that, 2015 I bought a car or 2016 I bought a car, 2015 I bought another car. Oh no, 2015 I bought a car and then when I was 14 I also bought my first car. So I've shown great restraints, keeping myself from buying new stuff. But unfortunately I was up on offer up messaging people for stuff I wasn't really gonna buy. I pulled up on him around 10. I did not take my camera because I honestly didn't think anything was gonna happen. And I'm currently driving to my brother's house because it's at my brother's house because it has no lights. And I drove it home like that. And we got a whole story talking about. So this is my new tour, guys. I know it's a little rough. It was a bit of, it was in a bit of a fender bender. But uh, I hope you guys can enjoy it. Sheesh. Yeah, you already know. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this. This is pretty much a mini chopper. Um, the homie that I bought it off of had it custom made and he did a lot of the fab work himself too. From the seat to the frame to, you know, everything, putting the motor in. Um, this is a 12, uh, 212 cc motor. It's got, uh, what do you say they had? Torque converter as well, so it's pretty fast. I think he said it goes up to four, uh, 50 miles an hour. Speedometer, no lights, uh, good brakes. Yeah, man, I mean, there's not really much to it. Um, I can't really ride it with the exhaust because it's freaking low, as you guys can tell. So I'm going to chop it right now with an angle grinder, but I'm just going to tighten it to make sure that it's um, I don't do anything stupid, you know? Because last I drove it, when I drove it, it was just shooting flames from my hair, so that's not really safe. Plus, I don't want to just be screaming next to my ear, so we're going to do this real quick. It's pretty reliable, it runs pretty well. Um, not really much to it. It's got a PCB delete, cool intake. Um, other than that, not really much to it. Hand throttle, automatic, you know what it is. Single stroke maybe, I think. But yeah, I already ordered a new tire because this one's kind of wasted. So we're gonna ride it to the wheels, fall off, ladies and gentlemen. But first, we gotta get started cutting, man. I'm probably gonna cut it at an angle just so it looks cool. Like right here, maybe. Sass. Just right there so it opens up like that. Probably weld this on later, but for now, let's get the grinding. Damn, I don't even know how much you guys saw, but I cut myself a little bit. It's all good. Cut the exhaust off. I'm very excited to see what it sounds like now. Um, poor exhaust. This actually looks pretty cool, but it wasn't really functional. This should be a lot functional now. It only hangs a little bit uh, lower past. Actually, it's pretty even with the chassis, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, I don't really know what else to tell you guys besides me just go for a ride. I kind of want to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Gotta take it outside. Respect to my fam, you know? I actually, I'm really curious to see what it sounds like. It was really loud before though, like really loud. You guys are gonna hear this rattle. It's missing a bolt, so it is what it is. I, I forgot to bring it, so there's a switch right here for on. Um, this black lever goes, I'm not gonna tell you guys, but you guys should already know how to do this.
think we're having a little bit of issue with the belt. I think it just got stuck with the little strand. This belt's out, out the way, out the door though, but. What the f Oh damn, that shit locked up. Oh crap. Oh damn. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of that one, Chief. Damn, that was short-lived, not even gonna lie. How embarrassing. Turn this off. All right, not sure why the belt ripped off, but we're taking a break from that. I'm gonna swap out the handlebars for one of my chrome ones. Um, this all used to be chrome, and then they painted it. I'm not sure why. It kind of looks worse like that. But I mean, it is what it is, you know. So, about to take these things off, see what it looks like with a different kind of bars, and then uh, we'll go from there. These are way taller and way bigger, so I'm gonna see how long these lines reach because they were, you know, like wrapped around and stuff. Because these are a little bit smaller bars. So let me take this off real quick and then we'll go from there. All the bars are off. I'm not gonna lie, I really love the way this thing looks, man, with the big handlebars compared to before. We are at least raised it like five inches, man. That thing is massive, and I'm surprised all the cables fit perfectly. I didn't have to do anything, just the same literally cables. I don't have to tighten this back up because it got loose and a bunch of other stuff, but it, I mean, it's pretty legit. Everything's on there, it's cool. I even moved this up a little bit so it's a little bit more edge so I grab this instead of this fatter side. I don't really mind the gap, don't really care. Put my speedometer back on, came with the speedometer. And I got one more mod for this that I wanna show you guys. Now I'm not sure what the connection is with this blanket in the front on chopper bikes. So if any of my Chicanos can please explain what the correlation is, I think it looks sauce. Uh, I'm still gonna rock it, you know, cause it looks fire, you know? I don't really understand what's the, what's the point of it is, but I, you know, somebody can please tell me. Just so we can all learn together, you know, and I, th I think it looks pretty cool. Two different kinds of belts, you know, because it's a raggedy bike. This is missing a bolt. One of these is missing a bolt. Everything's kind of missing one bolt. Everything's on there, kind of sauce. I need to tighten that bolt up. Still, I need to told you guys. Throttle's pretty sauce too. You guys check it out. Everything's cool, man. Damn, man, this looks so good. I wish I could ride it. I should have put all these mods on before I messed it up, man. Put a little knife right here too, you know, a little action. You know what I'm saying? Something like nothing crazy. It's it's a tool, man. It's a tool. I've been using it to cut zip ties and all that. I don't know what you guys be thinking, but it's a tool, man. It's a tool. I'm still trying to get this belt off. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. The homie said he got the motor at uh, Home Depot, so I'm assuming I can. But it's been ripping the belt for a bit. You guys can see all that? That's a belt. Watch. See how it's coming off? All, that is all right, we at the crib, y'all. Um, I already ordered the belt. That's going to get here pretty soon, as you guys saw that. Luckily, I wasn't going too fast when it locked up on me. Probably should have replaced it sooner. I saw that it was getting a little bit frayed, and I just I just didn't do anything about it. Try to ride it till the wheels fell off. Uh, so... Belt's coming in soon. Apparently, I can't buy it literally anywhere locally. I can't. I've tried Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Napa. I tried it all, bro. None, nobody got them in stock locally. You can't buy this thing. You can't walk in somewhere and buy it, unfortunately. I tried Tractor Supply as well. That's all garbage. None of these companies work for any of that. But with that being said, I did order some from Amazon for the low. So we're gonna wait on that for to, uh, for the next couple of days, but I just kinda wanted to steal the vlog for a little bit. As you guys see, we're in the Z, we're no longer in the in the chopper. That's what I call it, I call it, the, I call it chopper. Chopper, you know? Um, little baby chopper, you know what it is. Basically, I just kinda wanted to steal the vlog, guys. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of what, what's kinda going on, man. I mean, try to spare some love, some good vibes, some positivity, you know, a little bit of a short video we got for today. Uh, I just kinda wanted to share with you guys that whatever you guys wanted to do, whether it be, I don't know, man, climb the highest mountain there is um build the cleanest car there is get a bike get three cars maybe that's a goal for you i don't know get into this pre prestigious school uh get this dream job get out of your job uh do, do your dream side hustle there's a lot of things that like we we all want to do and i'm sure a lot of them we have in common i'm sure a lot of them we have that are just specifically towards us and I just want you guys to know that whatever you guys want to do, whatever you guys feel like doing, it's never going to feel like a right time to get started. So I want you, I want to personally invite you today, right now, in this moment, as we're watching this, as you're watching this, as we're here together, this is your time to start, man. There's not going to, there's not going to be a better time to start. There, there literally won't be. You will never be fully ready. You will never be fully equipped. You're going to learn as you go regardless. You know, you're going to mess up as you go regardless. Failure should not be something that should be feared. Failure should be something that should be embraced. You get what I'm saying? That's all I wanted to say, man. Like this chopper, like I wasn't really going to buy it. I was just wanting to talk to the dude because I thought it was a cool build. And then he shot me with, uh, oh, if you pull up with half of it, I'll sell it to you. And I pulled up with half of it, bro. I pulled up with 100 less than half because y'all know what, y'all know, y'all know we had to finesse. We had to finesse it out here, dog. So we finessed the bike. Uh, didn't really feel like a good time because, like I said, I don't really have a place to put it. It's getting uh, rusted out on me because of the rain. Uh, all that stuff is a variable. You know, if I lived at my other house, it'd be a lot easier to store it. No one would finesse it. I wouldn't be, have to be worried. Um, but be it as it may, dog, like, I still ended up buying it. I wanted to. It's been so much fun. i just been tinkering with it. I haven't really spent too much time on it, uh, wrenching and, uh, like, money-wise. So I, I'm at a pretty good spot. Something I truly believe, guys, is that we're, if we're persistent and if we're hungry, metaphorically, if we're hungry for it, and if we're 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 just not gonna give up sooner or later it's gonna have to happen because you're manifesting it so damn much you get what i'm saying like tune tune is gonna go it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go leaps and bounds further further on way further on than like i ever thought this place this could ever take me you know what i'm saying so i have to be prepared for that i have to set my visions and standards way higher than before because i'm already gonna hit my goals that i already like set it's important to keep ourselves busy it's important to keep ourselves mentally like strong set goals for yourself guys whenever you guys reach it could be a short-term goal and a long-term goal whenever you hit one goal boom done celebrate move on to the next create another goal you know what i'm saying that's kind of where I fell off on cars because I kind of reached the point where I, I initially wanted to be at. And then I just took some time to myself, uh, dreamt about it a little bit more. And then I realized there's there's place, other places car-wise that I want to like go to, if that makes sense, you go, metaphorically, right? That I want to access, that I want to do, you know what I'm saying? And I could do all of that, man. I just have to create new new goals and new standards and, and you know what I'm saying? Take this seriously, man. I really want Tune Tuners to be something great. I really want you and me and everybody within the safe space to make it great. It already is, man. So we can only get we can only get bigger, we can only get better, we can only start doing more giveaways. You know what I'm saying? Like I hope you guys are excited. If you guys are, smash that thumbs up button. We're gonna be doing a lot more cruises, a lot more driving, a lot more fun stuff. So be on the lookout for that, guys. There's a ton of videos I'm trying to pump out for right now. Got a, a transformation video on the bug interior as well. So be on the lookout for that. Ton of dope content. Getting ready to boost the Z, man. I'm telling you guys, there's just ongoing 
never ending content you know what i'm saying this is what i live breathe and sleep you get what i'm saying i don't want to make this video too long guys so i hope you guys have an amazing blessed day and i'll catch you guys on the next video